I'm David Attenborough, and this is a bubbly pool. Wouldn't it be like crazy if Yellowstone super volcano erupted while we were here? That would be literally insane. I mean, it'd be a brief second of insanity. Would it? Would it be that fast? Oh yeah, because we would be totally. Hey, look, another Eurovan. Hello. Hi, we're Andrew and Reed, a couple from Colorado who met back in 2008 and have a passion for the outdoors. We go camping and sailing along with our dog, Dirk, as often as we can. We have a pop-top camper and a small sailboat, but dream of going coastal, buying a larger boat, and sailing around the world. This is our journey. We hope to see you out there. What if we were all the show? Good morning. Just woke up and saw this gorgeous sunrise in this park. Gonna do some exercises and then get on the road. It's great being in the van on the way to somewhere cool. Never been to Yellowstone, so can't wait to get there. Today is a beautiful day. Jackalope's about. Grand Teton. Grand Teton. And they should be right over there. Behind all those rain. Yeah, unfortunately we can't see the Tetons because of the rain. But yeah, and we got a whole weekend here. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, uh, that's wet. Yeah, let's uh, let's go back in a dry camper van. Yeah. Yeah, it is really cool to see the mountains through the mist of the, the clouds and the fog. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so we're approaching Yellowstone. Approaching Yellowstone. Almost there. Wouldn't it be like crazy if Yellowstone super volcano erupted while we were here? That would be literally insane. I mean, it'd be a brief second of insanity. Well, true. We made it. We got to the sign. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'd agree. Oh, mmm, yeah. Mmm, that's tasty. Nasty business. Yeah, the uh, sulfur. You can smell the sulfur. Otters. Otters. Oh, the cute little ones. Don't so be like that kid. Don't step off the boardwalk because there's really thin crust above hot springs or boiling mud or acid. Uh, don't do it. It's also 
it's not legal. There's a pot of boiling water down there. Yeah, that looks rather acidic. <laughs> <laughs> I would say. Do not. But it kind of looks like that blue milk could get a Disneyland. That shit's tasty. Oh, blue milk. <laughs> wow. That's, that's pretty. Nice about all the sulfur in the air. Totally have you been farting? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. How would you know? <laughs> I would have no idea. That's how. I wouldn't know, but your topic of conversation. Surf Wyoming, bro. Surf Wyoming. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty incredible. Part of me thinks it looks gross, but that's probably just the smell of sulfur. Huh. And it's really beautiful if you forget that. <laughs> colors are yeah, colors deep are and vibrant. It's pretty. It There's cool. also a uh, geyser. King geyser? Yeah. Do you have service? You can download their app and then it'll like have a schedule or an estimated schedule of when they're going to erupt. Oh, that's cool. Well, maybe we'll find the data somewhere. What's up, buddy? This guy. That one. Oh. Wow. Do you want to cross? I just wanted to eat my liking. <laughs> A high sulfur content. Mm. Brings out the earthy tones in the. Uh... <laughs> I thought you spoke out. See, at least he's following the rules now, right? Or she? Oh, well, it's short lived. Cool. Yeah. We've been given, granted access. This is just dope. <laughs> this is really dope. <laughs> They're just like. In and out. And elk Oops. in and around us. Oh, we stepped in it. That must be a little toasty, huh, dude? Why is the ground hot? <laughs> Why does my foot hurt? My foot hurts. Good morning. Uh, I made it here to the campsite after checking out some thermal features at Yellowstone and drove and uh, ate some ate some quick dinner uh, now we're here at our campsite and pop the back oh watch oh sorry but maybe here we got our campsite Whoa. I've prepared you the finest breakfast of gourmet. <laughs> gourmet bagels and schmear. Well, oh, thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. No. Where do you wanna? Where do you wanna go? Let's go to the old faithful. Nice. Start with the biggin. Cool. So this is the Firehole River. The one that we saw steaming all last night as it was coming down. Look, and I can still see some steam. Grand is the 
world's tallest predictable geyser. and reach 180 feet or more. That's pretty. Awesome power. <laughs> yeah. Encore. Geyser features. Geyser features. Hoping they're gonna go off Bye. while we're right next to them. That would be cool. Slightly panting, <laughs> hiking it. We're about 9,000 feet, yeah. I think. Not too bad. The railing, you seem to have made it. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Like all the little, like, stair steppy layers, and just how the, the water flows out of it, like in rays like the sun and then just like the completely denuded pole bare poles of those trees like just out in that barren and step like almost like uh, like rice patties or something mm -hmm. but, yeah naturally created there's still life down there just really small life Spiders. Yeah. I like them outside, so they're good here. How about snakes? I mean, my anaconda don't want them. It's got a bunch of them. Nice. And man buns. <laughs> Sweet. I guess we can go down you know, next to it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm much more worried about not being able to see the pool from this side because of the steam. Right. Much of anything. Oh, the crater from Excelsior. Oh. Yeah, so this one had such violent eruptions that it broke it. And then like, it's like it got rid of or alleviated some of its restrictions. And so it was dormant since 1890. But uh, erupted uh, it once erupted in years later. 1985. 42 hours of one giant awesomeness and then so they don't know when it will happen again could happen right now oh thank god it didn't yeah. okay man the heat coming off of it is lovely yeah it's quite nice warm in my ears 
though I think my hair is too. <laughs> Beautiful color. Some sort of hawk or falcon in the tree. Here we are back, about to drink some wine. Open her up. Right. Man, found a whole bunch of cool things at the Mercantile at the campground. We got this awesome bottle of wine. As well as the corn. Got some Christmas presents for nephews. And then, for buying so much stuff, what did you got? We got this sweet blanket, so we'll try this out tonight. Yeah, that little Mercantile worked out great. And that was pretty cool. Potential so we're about to eat some corn, steak and corn. Steak and corn. Join us next time as we visit mud pots, stinky pools, and waterfalls. That's pretty cool. That is. It's just like cascading down a smooth rock face. Yeah. Let's think of them answers to your favorite show. I'm not going to talk to you like a crazy person because, well, look out for bears. There's bears. There's, we're in bat country. There's bears. When I was in Yellowstone, I was last time I was like six years old, and I peed on a tree, and a grizzly came to our campsite that night. So I know they exist. Don't, do Don't pee on trees. Also, put your food in bear boxes and follow all the regulations and such. So there's a whole bunch of what geothermal features. There's a ton of geothermal features. All they stemmed from a underground super volcano that erupts on average every 600,000 years, and it's been about 640,000 years since its last eruption. So it literally could go at any time. And there are some scientists that are nervous about how some of the geothermal energy is shifting. Old Faithful is not as faithful and other things of that nature, well, where we could be approaching the time where Yellowstone supervolcano blows. And if it does, there'll be a range of a couple hundred miles where there'll be was a pyrocrastic flow that, was, that will just decimate all life within that range. And it'll likely be a global event that could, it would be like a, a year without a summer, which did exist from a volcano that erupted in the Philippines. It was actually the same reason why there was a potato famine in Ireland, is because there wasn't, there's was so much particulate. Up? I think it might be right. I don't remember its name. Yeah, there's so much particulate in the stratosphere that light couldn't get through and it was so cold for an entire year while the atmosphere worked through that if you will but and wouldn't rain. that be crazy if it just like happened while we were here like for a split second it would be crazy be like that was a loud noise love ya uh-huh Ooh, that cloud's exploding very rapidly hey that's coming right oh be kind of like Pompeii, you know, you have like seven seconds to be like, well, this was fun. Something to share. I'm gonna have a thought. Um, so we'd been talking and like boat names. Okay. And we'd gone through some cool, cool ideas like that were, you know, a little risque, like a okay. naughty seaman. Yep, yep. And uh, one of the ones that we thought was the best was. Uh, Naughty naturalists. Mm -hmm. I guess I should be sure less with this. East. What might be a really cool thing to do could be. Oh, nice. Naughty in nature. Nice. As our boat name. That's that's awesome. I like it. I like it. Naughty in nature. Hey YouTube! Don't forget to don't forget to lightly blow a kiss to that notification bell and accidentally <laughs> nudge up against that like button. <laughs> you know what? We're and put in the comments that. content that you'd like to see. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> All right, we've done our part. I'm glad we have that. Yes. Are we talking to your viewers? Future viewers. Future viewers.